Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 5.11, Ecological Footprints. So one of the things that's come up in recent years is a way to measure how much impact a person has, right? Um, and so the way they do this is by looking at the amount of resources that we take. Um, and so we look at resource demands, right? Food, water, fuel, um, things like that. And so this can be measured for the individual. Okay, and this can be measured for a society. So this is what we're going to be looking at, how the differences work. And of course, some of the things that come into this are going to be the waste production, right? How much waste does this person generate and how much do they end up um, impacting the environment? So again, the thing about this is it's an estimate. It's not going to be something that um, is a set number. So, you know, you can take into account certain things, um, these estimates, you know, the land use, the water use, the amount of waste you produce, and other things that you wouldn't think of, right? So think about like your packages that you order online. Right? Every time they send a package, it's covered in plastic or cardboard. It may have styrofoam little peanuts to prevent the uh, breaking of something. Or if you take a flight, if you're a person that flies quite a bit, your impact's gonna be more. So they, these are ways to estimate this stuff. And so when we look at this, there's a good way to look at it from a societal point of view. So if you look right here, this is something that's a concept that's been discussed more and more in the last recent years. Um, and it discusses how long would it take to use up, you know, all of the resources um, on the planet, right? If the, uh, if the whole population lived like that one country for a year, okay? So how, much would it, how long would it take to use a year's worth of resources, not the whole resources, um, if everybody lived like that one country? So if you look right here, um, on March 15th in 2018, actually, let me switch over to my pen. Okay. If you look right here on March 15th, that's where we would be on the United States. So if everybody in the world lived like the U.S., we wouldn't make it past the third month, right? Now, whereas over here, if everybody in the world lived like Vietnam, we'd make it almost all the way through the year and use a year's worth of resources. You know, and depending on each society, that's going to be different, right? So if you live, live like Hungary, you're going to get to the summer. If you live like Mexico, you're going to live to the 29th of August. Um, if you live over here like uh, Luxembourg or Qatar, so we're by far not the fir not the worst, but we are pretty close um, in the United States. And so it just depends. And again, these are taking into account certain resources. And that's kind of the critique here about the um, ecological footprint concept. It's not perfect. It doesn't account for pollution. Right? Some countries are bigger polluters or have different resources of pollution and or sources of pollution, and that's something that doesn't isn't accounted for. This is again focused on land and resources, and some say it's too focused. And then the other idea would be, well, maybe it's focused too much on what we consider to be useful resources, right? Um, you know, it's not really focused on forestry or on biodiversity, it's focused instead on coal and agriculture and whether or not you're making a bigger impact that way. And that's not to say it's not great because we're still measuring our water use when it comes to something like this. So, you know, if you're using irrigation for your crops, that's an important concept to think about, but there are other things that this concept may not fully um, grasp. So that's something to think about with these and to just make sure that you don't, you don't have to live and die by the ecological footprint. It's just something that um, is a good concept to kind of lay that measurement out a little bit. Okay, so here's a resource you can use to hopefully fill in some more gaps here. And um, hopefully this is helpful, and thank you very much.